give you a set of traits. Say, say for instance, mm -hmm. if I were to give you every single trait, if, if you could even quantify that, that makes up a human. You know, could, could you argue against that? So you're saying it's every single trait that makes a human human. Yeah, that would be a reductio because if, well, let me, I would just ask, are the traits conjunctive or just done? So repeat that. Are the traits conjunctive or disjunctive? So in other words, do they have to have every single trait that makes up a human, or do they have to have at least a certain amount of traits that make up a human? Well, no, they'd have to have every every trait that made up a human to be a human. That's what makes a human. So if say say say, say if you were to have say if it was a hundred yeah, traits so, that made up a human, as a yeah, human, that's an easy reductio. Yeah, there was an animal. There was an animal that shared seventy of mm -hmm. those traits. Then that then but. The, the difference is that we have 30 plus traits on the animal that make us different, i.e. human. Yeah, so that would be that would be a reductio. So let's say we have a human that is missing one of the traits that make up a human. So let's say they have, you know, let's say there's a human that has dog hair instead of... Uh, you could have just said blind, you know. that's more believable. Yeah, uh, well, whatever it is. We could go with a whole sorts of thing. Let's say we have a human instead of human skin, they have uh, polka dotted um, multicolored cow skin. You know, is it okay to slaughter these human, these uh, quote-unquote humans now that uh, are missing this trait? Because they don't share the same skin color. No, because they they're missing. No, no, no. You said you said what makes up a human is having all of the traits that make up a, what a human is. Yeah. Now I'm giving you a hypothetical where we have one trait that's missing. Yeah, is taking, it okay to slaughter? You're taking one trait out in isolation and trying to use that as a get as a well, get well, I, well. If it's conjunctive, if your position, well, no, it does work if it's conjunctive. Again, that's why I asked you if it's conjunctive or disjunctive. If it's conjunctive, then you absolutely can do well, that. Well, from from and I, no disrespect to you, from my from my point of view, that's esoteric language. I actually don't know what that means. Okay, yeah, sure. It means yeah. So so there's when you have a trait stack, you can set a trait stack up in different ways. You can set a trait stack up such that all are required. It's that would be conjunctive. So like there's a certain amount that are conjunctive. Conjunctive is just an and. So they need yeah, to have this okay, and okay, this no, and I, this. I already, I already understand. I already understand. Okay, cool. So okay, so but th then you could. So for instance, I I'm, I'm Caucasian. Um, say if I were to go to the uh, the Caribbean, there would be another species of human there. Well, another race of human, should I say, that don't share every trait that I do because they have dark skin. But that doesn't therefore mean I should then slaughter them. If it's if you're setting it up as good, well, look again. If one had if one had clearly something that wasn't human skin, if you're if you're saying all well, the well, traits okay, that okay. are okay. wait one second one okay, second. Okay, fair enough, go on. If what if if what you told me when I asked you what a human is, mm -hmm. if what you just told me is that it's a conjunction of all your words were all the traits that make up a human. All I need to do is take one of those traits. All that yeah, needs to be done is I take one of those traits. Yeah. Game, sure. No. Well, you can call it a language game, but that's it, it's what it is. It's, it's, what, it is. it's what you've yeah, given what is, me. So now you can. It's it's it, look. It's the meaning of it. It's the content. It's the meaning of what we're talking about here. Well, I've, if what I've, you're I've, telling I've me, conceded, what you're. I've already yeah. Okay. Great. To you great. That no no no. Listen, great. I've already conceded to you that if another if if another species. Um, were to share the same level of sentience, intelligence, communication, whatever you want to call it, as a human being, it is not then okay to Then it, it is not the case. Okay, so then what makes up, so then it's either not true true that the only thing is what being can't, a human. Why can't I hold both opinions? If, the, if it, it, then it is either not true that the only thing is being a human, because if that were the case, at, per your I definition of being a human is... Because it's a logical contradiction. Well, because here's the here's the issue. Yeah, yeah, sure. I can spell out the propositions that form the contradiction. Because if it is sure, the case, go ahead. that yeah. So if you're saying that it, you told me that it was the, what what was it is it is a human. That's the trait. Then I asked you what that meant, and you said a human was all the traits that made up a human. And now we have a case where there is not the case where we have all traits made up a human. Therefore, it is not a human. And now you're saying just because it doesn't have all the traits that make up a human and therefore is not a human, then it doesn't lead to me being okay with slaughtering them. So it is and it is not the case that human is the necessary trait or necessary and sufficient trait. It's, it is and is not the case that the only trait is human. So you'd either have to... So that's a logical contradiction right off the bat. So, it's, so, so, it's, so, so to boil that down, it's either a human that I won't, that I won't kill or it's, it's either a human that I consider human and I won't, I won't therefore kill them or it's another species on the same level of humanity that I won't kill. Can I not hold what do you mean? Opinions? What do you mean? Okay, now so so we've got off the contradiction. Now we're offering something else. So either human or something on the level of a human. What do you mean by like that? Say, what do you mean say, on the level? Say, say for instance, 
um, ho entirely hypothetical. If we were to if we were to learn that dolphins um, were lit, were were on entirely the same intellectual level and you know communi communicative level as human beings, they just they didn't didn't have um, the dexterity in order to, in order to create and invent. But they they were literally on the same level as us. I would What do you mean by level? You're giving me examples. You're not giving me what you mean. Tell me what you mean when you say level. Don't give me an example. Give me a definition. And it, and it, and or give me, give me, or even, or even like just a, a word that describes. You could say intelligence. You okay, can say, say, okay, say, say, okay. I'll, 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 um, the way that we are communicating right now, the way, the way that you are speaking to me, verbalizing your words. If another species mm -hmm. could do that to the same level as mm -hmm. a human being, yeah, be it with their own language or not, then it is there. Then I, I don't, I don't see that. Great. So let's say, great, great. So let's say there's a species. Let's say there's a species that can do it like we can. It's just they have a member. A member of the species can't. They let's say they have the equivalent of mentally handicapped people. Well, yeah. Well, I don't, yeah. Well, again, I, I can we can we same, wait? Yes or no? Can we can we can we slaughter them or not? Well, no. I, I I hold them to the same value that I'd hold a mentally disabled human. Wait, that's not what you said. You said human or on the same level as human. Yes. That's it. So now we're in a contradiction again. So that's no, not no, no, the no, same no, no, thing. No. No, it, yes, yeah, see, we are. The, 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 the problem you have is you think you're catching me out. You're actually not. What's the... Well, you told me... You, look, you told me human are on the same level as human. I got clarified right, what okay, you meant okay, by listen, that. Listen. And then so, you said... So, let, me, let me explain. So I, as a human, do not see as um, morally correct to kill a mentally disabled human being. I then, I then also know there is another sentient species um, on, on, on my level, as we've, as we've drawn out. So I, I, w I would consider their version of a mentally disabled human being on the same level as, as, I, would consider, as I would consider a mentally disabled human being. So, and I, I would Okay, respect, wait. So I just to be clear, when you say on the level of humans, are you talking, are you talking about on, a, on any level of, that humans can reach? On any human, on any level of range of intelligence that humans can um, Well, I mean, there, there, is, there is a bell curve to, to, to intelligence. I so, know. That's why I'm asking you. So, because look, say, here's, when you say human, look. Dude, when you say human or on the same level of human, I mean, if you, if you are you saying on what? Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. One, let me finish. If you say human or on the same level as human, are you talking about? I'm not, and I'm not even pinning you down to something that specific. Give me a ballpark. Are you saying roughly on the average of how humans would communicate, or are you broadening it to saying whatever, uh, roughly whatever the bell curve of humans are going to be, uh, whatever range they can be on, is what I would consider acceptable as well. Well, let, let's let's say I were to take the average position, although I do. So the I, average, the, although although I would I would I would pro I would probably make the assumption that there would be a bell curve of intelligence within that species. Yeah. So 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 again, so the problem the problem would take with saying human or on the level of human, where level of human means at the average level of the, how humans operate, is if we were to meet another species that are just as sentient yeah. as us. Mm -hmm and can talk with us, then if they have mentally handicapped individuals, what would follow from that position is you can slaughter those mentally handicapped individuals. That's the reductio on that view. If, well, okay, okay. If, if, if you were to use, if you were to use the most pure base form of logic, then possibly, but... Yeah, propositional logic, you know, just classical logic, pretty standard, so, so, um, no, no, no. pretty so, basic. So for, so for instance, um, if... Okay, so again, I'll, I'll try and reiterate my point and maybe communicate it a little better. So, I wait, have... you know, can I just ask you when when you talk about the base? Can you just explain to me what basic logic is as opposed to non basic logic? Well, no, I'm no, just there's, there's, the, like, there's there's the idea of pure logic. So yeah, what is it? If, Tell me what if, that is. If some if, if some if something follows I, if something follows a logical line, then that then there people sorry people make the assertion that if something follows a logical train of thought, then therefore it shouldn't be deemed immoral because it is logical. But there are many. Can you just tell me what basic logic is as opposed to non-basic logic? Okay, like you, 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 you can you can trip me up on my use of wordage, but I, I don't see that as. Do you know? Are you familiar? Like, I'm just going to ask right now, like, because you're making statements about logic. Are you familiar with logic at all? Are you familiar with propositional logic? Are you familiar with first order logic? Are you familiar with fuzzy logic? Are any, these logical systems? Are you familiar with like what these things are? How they? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. So don't. 
say things about the things you don't know what you're talking about is all i'm saying okay um, so I, well no, look, look, please listen i'll i'll use I'll, I'll use the language that i want to use don't dictate to me what i can okay that's fine you can talk about things as long as we're clear that you're talking about things you have no clue about what you're talking about that's fine well, I'm, yeah i'm, I'm, I'm not I'm, saying I'm, you have no right to I'm do sure. it I'm, I'm sure if you weren't being so uncharitable you, you'd have been able no to no it's it's fine no 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 you, i'm not saying i'm not trying to take your rights away you can you, i agree you can talk about what you want to talk about as long as we're all clear on the same page that you're talking about things that you admittedly have no clue what they are yeah it's pretty it's okay pretty simple he what? just doesn't like you in Invoking basic logic if you don't know basic logic like could you just give us in kind of like propositional variables a valid argument form and if you can't then just don't ever invoke the word logic please like it's a pretty reasonable thing for him to say <laughs> okay 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 so I'll, re I'll remove my use of the word logic because i don't know you want to morally you want to you want to intellectually grandstand but fine so i am um, so, okay, no, we, so we just don't want you to appeal to something that you literally don't know the first thing about like, do you know sure. what? Yeah, okay. Sure. So, okay. So, if 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 I were to if I were to speak in, if 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 I if I were to use my vocabulary correctly, shall we say? So, um, the the train my, my train of thought would dictate to me, you know, by, by, based off of my own um, my own my own ideas and my way my way of viewing the world. So, if I, if if you were to have a you know the human species, and you have a mentally handicapped or we'll, we'll say down syndrome you have a down syndrome uh human being right and then you have another sentient species on the si on the same intellectual and communicative level as human beings you know we we can we can we can communicate we can we can cooperate um and they have a a their their own version of the um the down syndrome affliction now i respect that they are a sentient species and they share the same compassion and empathy for their Down syndrome uh, children or their Down syndrome people as we do. So no, it is th therefore not okay. So that's a change in the trait now. So what's so what are so what are the what's the trait stack now? Because you're changing the trait stack. So it's not just the case that it's human or on the same level as human, which same level meaning average. So now we're all adding other things in, which yeah. is fine. We can deal but with that of, just as easily. Of, so the, let's uh, spell it all. Well, let's spell it out now. So let's spell out the difference. So the difference is I've heard empathy. I've heard they have empathy for them. I've heard they um, I've heard they are themselves a sentient species, so they're part of another sentient species. Is there anything else in this trait stack that you want to add? No, I think I'm good. Okay, great. So let's say, let's take empathy. So let's say that they weren't empathetic toward this mentally handicapped individual okay and let's say and when you say if they're sentient are we saying that the they're on average you sentient that at least go ahead okay well i'll, I'll just i'll answer the question I, yeah let's get clarity on the if what the problem is if they yeah. weren't empathetic towards their mentally handicapped uh, people mm -hmm. i would i would see that as a moral indignity would you say then it's then okay to slaughter them well, no, because I don't, I don't, like, for, for instance, I don't, I don't, I, I don't agree with the idea of slaughtering the mentally handicapped, be it, be it from my intelligent species or another intelligent species. Okay, so then when you say intelligent species, do you mean like the, at least 50% of them are intelligent? You know, you know exactly what I'm trying to say. No, 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 no. I, let's, 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 no, I don't know. I really don't. Um, are you saying that roughly? No, no, no. Let's say, I mean, look, let's say 1% of their species was intelligence. Would you still consider them part of the intelligence species? Do they all have to be? So one one percent of one percent of their species are, is intelligent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And or is what, is that what, qualify what, as an intelligent species? Yes or no? What, what the yeah, the rest the rest are the rest are handicapped. Okay. Does it qualify as an intelligent species on your view, or does it have to does it have to be fifty percent like? What? Well, that, that's a different argument. Yeah. No, it's not an argument. It's a question. It's a question well, uh, when you yeah, say because I need clarity on what you're provi you're providing a trait, and I'm just asking for clarity on it. So you're you're <laughs> so you've now you've now changed to the you, you've now changed the species from a species of equal intelligence. No, I'm not changing anything. I'm asking you again. I'm asking you, a, dude. I'm asking you a question. So you provided set two traits, two additional traits. One additional trait is that there was empathy. Another additional trait is that you're dealing with an intelligent, they're part of a species that's intelligent. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just asking for clarity on that second trait that you're offered. When you say they're part of a species that's intelligent, are you saying that at least 50% of their species are roughly as intelligent as us? Well, if, Does well, it have well, to be? If, explain to if, me what the criteria is. 
Okay, well, if only 1% of the species were deemed to be on an, on an intelligence level with that of humans, then you could, the argument could be made that they are not an intelligent species. But I'm sure that more arguments would be made that, oh, they have the potential for intelligence, so therefore it, it's morally reprehensible to slaughter them. Okay. Now let me ask you this. Let's say, let's say that they were part of an intelligent species, they have enough individuals, whatever your criteria is, to ha be considered an intelligent species, and let's say... And let's say, dude, 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 let's say that I snapped my fingers and disappeared them. They're gone now. So now, both the empathy is gone. Yeah, they no longer exist. Exist. All the intelligent, yeah, no, not the species. The handicapped individuals exist, but all the individuals that are intelligent from that species no longer, no longer exist. Through procreation, they could they could birth more. Well, let's say let's say they couldn't. No, let's say they couldn't. So 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 you've you've removed the well. I said I don't know. You you you've removed the genome that. No, I haven't removed the genome. The genome is there still. <laughs> it's just that they can't procreate that genome further. Now my question to you at that point is: Is it okay now to take those handicapped individuals and slaughter? For what purpose? For the same purpose as animals are being slaughtered. They like their meat. Okay, so okay, but if it is the is is the is the premise of there being I'm not appreciating an answer. Is there something unclear about my question? Well, no, no, no. Yeah, yes. Well, I'd, I'd like okay, what's that. unclear about my question? So okay, but all all I want to know is is it known is is it is it widely known to me and to other people that this species had the ability to birth intelligent life, and then we took it away so we could slaughter them. I don't see how that's. There's, I don't see how it's relevant. I mean, if well, well, well I mean, look, it, we can go it, with both it's, answers. It's, it's, like, it's, let's just oh, let's say it was a natural. Let's say we didn't take it away. Let's say it was a natural disaster that happened. Let's say there was like some natural disaster that happened that removed all the intelligent beings, and they just happened to be left over with a genome that couldn't replicate. Uh, for, they weren't fertile, but uh, and now is it now okay to slaughter them for meat? Well, they'd most likely just die off on their own. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't answer the question. So I'm no, going to repeat the it, question. It, it, it is it now okay? Is it problem. now okay to slaughter them for me? Yes or no? Okay, saying it doesn't reflect reality or it's a hypothetical is not an answer I mean, to the you're, question. You're, you're, so I'll repeat the question. Um, I mean, we're, we're, we're running a so the question on the table is, is it now okay to slaughter? Is it now okay to slaughter these mentally handicapped beings? Now that we've removed the trait, the two traits, empathy well, trait and... Removed. Oh, it absolutely has, because the needs, there's neither empathy no, no, yeah, now, no, no, nor, no. So I'm just nor is so there, the are they argument. part, oh, they absolutely, so it has I'll been. Take the so. I'll, I'll take so, the standpoint I, of no, it's not. Okay, so now that's a logical contradiction. So the, because okay, it but, both is and my, is not but, the case. Okay, but my, my, mm -hmm. my, my retort back to you would be that there isn't an animal species that follows, <laughs> that, that follows that train of events. That's irrelevant. So, well, it's, not really it's irrelevant it's because not. your position is logically contradictory. It doesn't matter if it's in the real world or in a hypothetical. It was, once you have a logically contradictory position, on classical logic, you're, you are invoke, you, now you're in the problem of the principle of explosion, where you affirm all propositions. You have a logically contradictory position right now. And you can maybe either, so either you have a couple of options. Either you can affirm logical contradictory positions, you can bite the bullet on being a dialetheist, or you can modify your position to something that's not a logically contradictory position, or um, you can provide, well, you can provide a symmetry breaker, which is which would be one way of doing that, which it would, which you have, but then you're backing, up, but then you lead to a contradiction based on what those symmetry breakers are. So at this point, you're in a contradictory position. Um, on classical logic, you will affirm all propositions. I take that to be, yeah, okay, as, as far, um, yeah. Can I, okay, so my, my, my point is, th this, this is entirely proving my point. Do you understand why us having to go through all of these? Um, I'm proving your, your point is, is, is a showing here in a logically. Like if, if, no, if, I think, I think proof by contradiction is the strongest form of argument if there ever was one. <laughs> If you know, my, 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 my point is, if you're speaking to, say, if you're speaking to the, the, the broader population of the Western society and you come at them with this idea of name the trait and. Um, this is tangent. Okay. I don't see the relevant. Look, dude, dude, you're in a logical my, my, contradiction. My, 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 as far as. Is, dude, my argument dude. is that you want the, the name the trait. Dude. Is 
Dude, you can keep saying, you can keep saying dude, me off, listen, you listen, 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 listen. We don't, we're not here to t we're talk about advocacy. We're not here to talk about how effective and convincing people this is. I'm talking about, I'm talking about proof. I'm talking, right, well, okay, well, that's, well, I don't know what the, I don't know what the, well, listen, you, uh, he's here, so you're talking to his face right now, so. Okay, um, as I said, you're a gimp, well, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> dude, 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 listen, listen. what yes, we're talking about right now is, you seem to say there's a problem with the argument. This argument so far has shown that you're in a proof by contradiction. As is, this is the worst form. The, this is the worst level you could be at in any debate, as cool any that. debater can be, cool in a logical contradiction. Now, if you want to say there's a problem with the argument, okay, okay. So, boil. Okay, just just explain it to me because um, clearly I'm not getting something. Explain to me in layman's terms the logical the logical contradiction that I've fallen into. Sure. So the propositions that form the contradiction is that it is both, it is and it is not the case that the empathy and the being part of a set of a intelligent species is what is the difference in traits that if true of one, that if true of the other would grant the same treatment. So you want, cause that's what you invoked when I asked you the question first. And then, sorry, your mic is really echoing by the way. And well, and wasn't even turned on. I don't know what happened there. Well, someone's someone's mic is echoing. Um, and then you said that it wasn't the case. So you said no. It, it was his mic. He was holding the push talk key. I was looking at his mic. It was popping off. You just don't hold the oh, key okay. when Avi's talking. Yeah. So the the proposition the the propositions that form the contradiction is that you are affirming that it is the case that what what makes this what's the symmetry breaker is uh, the empathy and the being part of an intelligent species and you are also re okay. negating that proposition you, at the same do time not, do you not do you not understand that the ideas that you laid out to me of an intelligent an, an intelligent species well the, the a species that has the ability to procreate in, intelligent life that then loses that that capability has never happened do you want that's irrelevant that? It's not. It's, it's, it's a look. If you're in a contradiction in, a, in something that hasn't happened before, you're still in a contradiction. It's irrelevant. A hypothetical contradiction. Yep. That means that you affirm all propositions, but, even in the, whether it's hypothetical or. Not. Again, but you're not. You're not. You're not going to change any minds on hypotheticals. You're for, okay. I don't. Uh, well, whether I change minds or not on the hypothetical is also tangential to whether you're in a contradiction. So you are in a proof by contradiction problem. You have a big problem on your hands. You're in a logical contradiction. You're affirming and negating. You're affirming and negating a proposition. That's as logical contradictory okay, so as it goes. You're, but the, the 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 entire point of name the tr of name the trait. Well, from what from what I think, and please don't interrupt me. The entire point of name the trait is to try and convince someone to conform to the vegan diet. Is it not? No. The point the point of name no the point of name the trait isn't. Um, Look, I mean, I can ask what, Isaac. What, he he formulated the name the trait, but the a, but the point of it why, the point of it is to exp well the point if, of it. If is you to asked me, the only thing that I would say is how is that remotely relevant to what Avi's asking you? Right, you're just dodging his line of questioning because he's got you in a corner. Yeah, but, uh, but that, that, that that that's the point I'm trying to make. You can back me into a corner all you like, but I don't actually, I'm I don't care. Look, my, my, my this is what he did. Reason. This is what he did during my debate. Shut, shut he, he, you can back him into a corner, and no, he'll no, admit no, he's no, contradicting listen. himself, Richard, and he'll just say he doesn't care. You he's, you're fucking. Listen. Here, my, one my sec. Is, let's just my... let let's just let VG say what he wants to say, and then we'll let Tickle say what he wants to say. What did you want to say, Richard? Yeah, dude, uh, you're a fucking liar. You did this exact same thing during my debate. I caught you in a contradiction, and you'll do everything to weasel out of it, and then you'll end up coming to a point where you can't, and then you'll just say you don't care. So not caring doesn't have anything to do with the contradiction you're making, so you're just admitting you're wrong. Okay, okay. okay I'm my you. point is, my point is, catching me in a, lo in a logical contradiction is doing nothing to fur further the cause, cause of veganism. My entire point was that... Um, I, I, I would I would like to I don't know propose some better forms of argumentation in order to get more people onto the side of veganism. This name the trait thing is this this name the trait debate is entirely pointless because it doesn't do that. Like if 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 you're a vegan and you want to get more vegans on your side and then you try and catch them in logical loopholes and make them look a fool, how exactly are you are, are you are you are you pulling them into your cause? You're not. You're doing the opposite. Do you understand what I'm trying to say?
This is an amazing derail. I, I love that someone would even possibly think this would fly in a philosophy, logic, and debate server. You're just trying to change well, I'm not, I'm not, the whole thing. That's all he does. Not, not, he, not, he, not, he, that's not, all he does. All he can do is derail and make up red herring. Avi's just, just doing something roughly like exploring your position to see if it's consistent or absurd, right? That's what he's interested okay, in. He's, he's not here to have a conversation. He's not here to have a conversation with you about advocacy, dude. That's not what he's talking about. That's a separate topic. If you want a separate debate later, you can do that later. Isaac, shut up. My position is that I hold humans in higher regard than animals. Can you change my mind? Okay, dude, you literally said you don't care, so apparently we can't oh, change your mind Richard, no matter what, even when Richard, we point I, I, out Richard, that your position that you is completely is com a complete logical contradiction, Richard, so you if you don't care, then you don't care, dude. Cool. Like, dude, and, Hitler and, didn't care about the Jews. If he doesn't care, he doesn't care. So, again, look, you, 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 you're just and it, liar. You just derail when you get corn. And, and it seems it seems obvious that he's setting a, a bar now for, like, what the... Like, first of all, he's changing the topic, but... Like, he's trying to get us to argue something that I don't think any of us would argue. Like, neither Avi, Richard, nor I hold the view that you're going to, that, that it's possible to persuade all carnists, right? Like, we don't, this, that's never been said, right? There might be some people who just can't be persuaded. Obviously, it's logically possible, but yeah, I mean, that's just, first of all, it's not the proposition. Secondly, it's not something we believe, right? So how about instead of dodging Avi's line of questioning, you just clearly answer him. Then if you want to have another debate about something else later, you can see if there are any takers. Well, if he's, if he's, if he's caught me and said logical contradiction, then I don't know. I'll, I, I suppose I have no choice but to accept that, but it doesn't change my viewpoint. So that's, that's where I stand. That doesn't oh, matter, dude. Like, it doesn't matter if it changes your viewpoint on animals. The fact is, you're just fucking wrong, and you have absolutely, like, wrong? nothing against Demonst it. Demonstrate how I'm wrong. Proof by con- if there was any way to demonstrate that someone is wrong, proof by contradiction is probably the strongest way to do it. Yeah, but, yeah, but you've caught me in a very specific logical contradiction that, you, that you've literally manufactured on the fly. You know, you've, you've literally painted me into it. Sounds like name the traits a pretty good thing to do, to do then, if I might say well, no, myself. No, 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 it, no, it's not, because again, like I say, you're, you're, a human is still a human, an animal is still an animal. You can name we, as many traits as you we've, want. I'm still we've been, the we've been through, regard. we've been, been yeah, but we've been through this. So, but if that leads to a lot, okay, but if I, if I just showed you that led to logical contradiction, you need to re- or, or you need to bite the bullet or you're fiction. Yeah, let's, let's just be clear. Are there true contradictions on your view? Yes or no? What with, with, what, with regards to logic? I'm just asking, uh, does well, there exist a contradiction that is true? I'm, a, I'm asking a simple question, don't dodge it. Is there a logical contradiction in, in, that is in, true in the, on your view? In, in the, in the mass, just answer, in the just answer. It's a yes or no question, right? If you don't, if you don't you understand, if you don't understand the question, you can ask for clarity, but it's a yes or no <laughs> question, okay? <laughs> Do you believe well. that there are true contradictions? Yes or no? As, as a whole, in general. Do you believe that there are true contradictions? That there exists sorry, cl at least sorry, one true contradiction? contradiction? Okay, do you know what a contradiction is? Okay, I'm clarifying the question. Do you know what a contradiction is? So, con I'll, do you know what? Do look, know, I'm asking. Stop! I'm asking. I'm asking you a question, right? So the question was, do you accept that there are true contradictions? You said you need clarity, right? Because all I'm going to accept is a yes, a no, I don't know, or asking for clarity about the question. Anything other than that's a dodge, right? So you asked for clarity. Now I'm clarifying the terms in the question. Do you know what a contradiction is? Do you know what a contradiction is? If the question. Do you know what a contradiction is? Yes. Yes, you know what a contradiction is? Okay, what's a contradiction? Yes. What, what is a contradiction? Yeah, well, I mean, you just claim to know what it is. What's a contradiction? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, if I, if I were to make a statement, but then hold a viewpoint which was opposing to that statement. What's opposing like mean? That's not what any logician will, t look, no, a contradiction is proposition and negation in conjunction, okay? It's nice out today, and it's not the case that's not, no, opposite is not something that anyone's ever going to say to you in a fucking logic course, okay, that's not what anyone would say. What a logician will tell you, what any basic logic text will tell you, what any logician or basic logic text will tell you, <laughs> is that a contradiction is proposition and negation in conjunction, okay, P and not P is a contradiction. Now, do you understand the question when I ask you, are there true contradictions, or is there something else you don't yes, understand? Professor. Okay, yes, right, now, are there true contradictions? Yes, of course there are. Okay, he's a dialectist. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, again, you have to explain oh, what it means. And on another so then, another thing, and unless you need to, you should go and learn paraconsistent logic also, because unless you unless you want to adopt some kind of paraconsistency, classical logic is going to lead you to a position called trivialism, right? Paraconsistent logic, one of the big like motivations that, behind too. one of the big motivations behind paraconsistent logic is that the combination of classical logic and dialetheism, right? That is the okay. position that true contradictions okay. exist leads to something called explosion. It's a feature under classical logic that leads to every proposition being true. I can explain to you mathematically how it happens. An easy way to describe this is that if we set up the truth no, table wrong. for an arg- Did you say I'm wrong? No, I said no. I said no, you're, you're all right. It's English colloquial. Right, okay, okay. So yeah, if you set up a truth table, for example, and you plug in as premises, you plug in as, pr well, this is how, if you want to understand why, what your position is saying and what the issues are, this is important never, for you. I never, I never said I want now, to understand Now, this. now, well, I'm going to explain this to you. It's pretty simple, okay? Now, if, I'm just going to explain this and then I'll pass it back to Avi. Now, the problem with being a dialetheist and holding to classical logic is that it leads to something called explosion, right? You're actually committed to the view that unicorns exist. You're committed okay, to the view okay, that Trump okay. is the so best president. Stop, it's stop, it's just, like, a just a second, just a second. Just, a, I'm gonna use priority push to talk. Now, if you were to, for example, set up an argument and the premises are a contradiction, you can put the conclusion to absolutely any proposition, right? If I set premises as P and not P, and I set the conclusion, I can make the conclusion absolutely anything. P, Q, R, S, T, any variable, any proposition, and the argument will remain valid, right? So it leads to a position called trivialism, okay? Classical logic plus dialetheism leads to trivialism. So unless you want to accept that every proposition is true, I would go learn paraconsistent logic. And the fact that you don't know anything about paraconsistent logic makes it very funny that you're taking a dialectic position because this is like the whole the whole idea is you can't be a fucking dialetheist under classical logic because it leads to trivialism and no one accepts trivialism okay am i able to talk now am i able to respond yeah, mm -hmm. you can you can say whatever you want. Go for it. I mean, I I'm done with you, right? Like once someone's saying there's true country, I can't even track what they're saying. I don't know. I don't know what you think you're saying. So I'll just pass it to others. No, no, you you, you clearly you clearly understand what I'm saying. Look, it's no, I I can't comprehend a contradiction. No, no, I understand the kind of thing you're saying, which is that contradictions there are true contradictions. Okay, right? So but I, but I can't I can't actually okay. comprehend the notion of a true contradiction. Could I, could right? So that's where I'm just done with someone. When someone says a proposition can simultaneously be true and not true, I don't know what they're talking about anymore. If you think that makes sense, then okay, but I can't follow. Oh no no no! If Can once I... you once you accept a position like that, unless you're actually someone who's philosophically sophisticated, who's going to talk about these things oh God, in a meaningful way with any understanding of what you're talking about, I'm not interested. Cool, okay, I'll pass it to Avi. No, oh. Okay, okay. Oh, fuck Isaac, but there's a con. Um, Avi, um, can you explain to me what you feel my position is, just so I get an understanding of where you guys are coming from? Because right now, um, with, with dialetheism, I think yes, your yes. position is uh, there exists true contradictions such that simultaneously there are propositions that are true and not true at the same time okay so what what do i consider to be true and not true at the same time just break it down for me oh i don't i don't know which which contradictions you're with, affirming to be with, true with, with, but with regard, you are the one saying wait you oh yeah so it is and it is not the case that the symmetry breaker is the empathy in conjunction with the, being part of a intelligent species so that it is and it is not the case. So we affirm the proposition and negate the proposition. Okay, so if so, so what what you're saying is the 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 point that if I were, if if we as a species were to come across another sentient intelligent intelligent species, um, that only one percent of them had the same level of intelligence and community communicative. It doesn't system. matter what percentage it no, is no, at I'm, that I'm, point. I'm just I'm just it doesn't matter. I'm just breaking. Yeah, it down. sure. And then, and then that level, in, that level of intelligence was removed. Me feeling that it's not okay to kill them, and slaughter them, is a contradiction. Uh, if you say that the symmetry breaker between feeling okay and not feeling okay are the the conjunction of being part of this intelligent species in conjunction with empathy, and now it is not, but, 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 then yeah. But what about the history of the species? 
then you would then that would also be a contradiction because it wouldn't just well, only be those cases really, because you would have to go back you would have to go you would excuse me you would have to go back and add another trait and you would have you would have to go back and add another trait which is the history and we can start all over that's fine too okay so so for in, so for instance um in the uk it's illegal under the law to kill swans um, due, due to their What's, I, what is the relevance of this? No, 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 no. Again, uh, again, no this is this is what this is what I'm saying. Due to their due, due to their historical. Okay, can we just be clear that our wait, wait, wait? Can we just be clear? Are you are you affirming dialectism? I just want to be. Are you affirming that true contradictions exist? Yeah. I still. I, I'll be honest with you. I still don't entirely understand what dialectism is. So, I mean, if you could do you agree? Do you think that propositions can be true and not true at the same time? Such as Schrodinger's cat. Um, such as, like, let's say I say, you know, it is and it is not moral to kill a or it, it is and it is not moral to kill a animal. Or it is, and it is, this this computer is and is not in front of me right now. Or I am. You're, 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 you're essentially arguing Schrodinger's law. Okay, that's not an. Is that an answer to the question? No, no, but is, is that is that what you're arguing? Is that what you're arguing? So, for instance, I'm you're... no, I'm I'm just asking a question. I'm not making an argument. I'm asking, so are you a dialectic? That exists in front of you and does not exist. In front do of you me. do you think that's an answer to the question? No. Okay, so how about you answer the question? The computer either exists or it doesn't. Okay, so, but are there any are there any cases on your view in which a proposition is true and not true at the same time? Um, not to my understanding, no. Okay, so maybe, then you're not a dialectist. Maybe, 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 if, maybe if I was to think through all of my feelings and thoughts and go go through exactly how I feel about, I don't know, maybe every topic that I've come across, then maybe I, maybe I could pull out some that I've contradicted myself on in, in the past. I didn't ask if you contradicted yourself on it, so that's not what the question was. The question was, do you believe that there is at least one true contradiction, that there is a proposition where it's both the affirmation and its negation are true simultaneously? No, I don't believe that, no. Okay, so you're not a dial atheist. Great. I, you can give my throat a rest now from this four-hour debate I just had earlier, and then give it back uh, to Isaac. For, for the for the record, the reason that I um, called him a dial atheist was because he did say there are true contradictions when I talked to him. So he actually contradicted well, again, I, himself. I, I, he actually I, I, contradicted himself oh, about <laughs> the existence of true contradictions. <laughs> so uh, meta meta dial atheist. So you are, <laughs> and are not. You are and are not a dial atheist. <laughs> Well, so so again, so again, at the time, I clearly didn't understand the meaning of um, true contradictions. So in in that in that me making that statement there. No, that's not that's that, okay. That's not an excuse because you made me walk you through what a contradiction was. What the fuck are you talking about? I asked, do you understand now what a contradiction is? You said yes. You're full of shit. I don't blame VG for getting annoyed with you. No, I, I just think you're very, you're very uncharitable, quite condescending, and very patronizing. You're a bit of a cunt. Um, your, your friend here is okay, though. I could easily have a conversation with him. My friend here fucking brutalized you. Well, he just, he just explained, he, he, we, we had, we had a polite conversation and he explained something to me. That okay, so now instead, instead of the rambling, now that you're not willing to go down the contradiction, now that you're not willing to go down the contradiction pathway, he's going to be able to take you down other pathways, right? That brings you back to the prior step in the conversation, where your trait stack is leading to the contradiction, right? You're going to have to back up on the trait stack. Why? Why do I have to do that? Because you just said you don't believe there are contradictions. Obviously. And right now, you're like, oh, yeah. Well, the the idea of a contradiction exists, but whether something is contradiction is contradict. What's the? Whether something is a contradiction in its. In the relevant Look, your trait stack led you to a contradiction. You said there aren't true contradictions. That means you're going to have yeah, again, to modify can, the trait can, stack. It's very simple. So are we just so are we are we just are we just going to keep going through traits, you know? Well, I mean, as as long as people have patience for you, but it just doesn't seem like you can find a coherent position. It just seems like you're just speaking nonsense, frankly. Just, in fact, I, I bet if I put it to a vote in chat, most people will say that. I'll do that now. Well, you, you're you're putting the, you're putting it to a vote in an echo chamber, so of course they're going to agree with you. These people already agree with you. Sorry, um, Avi, is that is that your name? 
I also wouldn't call this place an echo chamber. There's a huge chunk of non-vegans in this place. Oh, that, 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 that's a good thing. In fact, there's almost as many non-vegans as vegans. Good. So I wouldn't. I don't let's think. Not, let's not even yeah. humor his derail about the yeah, echo yeah. chamber. I mean, everyone. Thinks yeah. So you're, you're you're the the propositions led to a contradiction. You you told me that you don't believe there are true contradictions. That contra that seems to be in contradiction itself with you affirming the proposition and its negation at the same time, which are affirming a contradiction. So you would have to give up that at least one of those statements. You have you can either provide a, a different trait stack, or you okay, can so fight the I bullet one way I or another. So I can't hold the belief that if an animal, if an animal species, at one point held the same level of intelligence as us, but then lost that that level of intelligence through some form of natural disaster, or I don't know, um, or, or, I can't hold the, the the opinion that it should that it's wrong to kill them because of what you just said. Um, based on just those traits, no. But the, you can have other traits that would lead you to that conclusion. But they would just be. A So based 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 on the fact that they had intelligence, lost it, and that and be, because of that historical intelligence, I don't want to kill them. That means I can't hold that position. So what are you saying? Oh, you can have a you know you can add a historical trait to the trait stack. That's fine. That's going to lead into absurdity. I'll just tell you right that, now. There's going to be reductios to that. But that my 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 initial point was that all traits exist in conjunction with the. With, with each other that's irrelevant I, I didn't ask you how many i didn't ask you whether traits exist in conjunction with each so other we, we can we can we can argue traits one at a time and you can find logic i'm not i'm not no 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 i'm not i'm not no 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 see this is like i hypocrite level i'm not that, that, arguing that's, one. Avi, that sentence also made no sense traits exist in conjunction with each other well well no there's obviously traits that i do not have if you wrote out the conjunction of traits true of me is a lizard it's not one of them Right, so so that's, oh, that's also I, if just. If he meant to stupid. say all traits, sorry. If he meant to say all traits, okay. If you say all traits are in conjunction, no, I disagree with that. I I agree that there are traits that exist in conjunction with. Them. They're clearly not all traits exist in conjunction with each other. Like he's he's just not tracking. Look, you okay, so gave you gave a trait stack not containing history. It led to a con. Sorry, I'm just going to priority speak over him. The only reason I'm not banning him for talking to me like that is because I know Beacon Gaines wants to see him get wrecked. Otherwise, I'd ban him. Um, yeah. So what happened is you gave a trait stack. It led to contradiction. Now you have to since you don't want to be a dial atheist, you have to modify the trait stack, right? When you try to add the history thing and say, well, is that a contradiction? It doesn't have to be a contradiction, right? But you're modifying it. That's not the position he was talking about before the prior position led to a contradiction not the new modified position not that you notice when you're modifying your position obviously oh yeah because i'm such a fucking retard yeah yeah i i take the position that either you're pretty fucking stupid or you're just really motivated or something because this is not complicated <laughs> yeah as i say you're a cunt um so yeah Ave. um so I, I should I should I should maybe specify what I what I meant to say. Um, so all traits, as in every trait in existence, do not exist in conjunction with each other inside a single human. But all the traits that make that human a human exist within that human in conjunction with each other. Does that make more sense? All traits that make the human a human exist in all, conjunction. All, 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 all traits that make me... I wouldn't even get me. derailed by this. He's just, he's just kind of off on a side tangent. So I was just pointing out that the, sentence yeah, didn't make sense. So just go back to the... Oh, yeah. Dude, what's the new... What's the new... What's the new trait... proving yourself to be a cop. What's... What's... What's the new trait stack? What do you mean? What, what, what is the new trait stack? Well, you gave a trait stack that led to contradiction. You told me you weren't a dial atheist. Clearly, you don't accept okay, the contradiction. Okay, okay. Then, so, what's okay, the new so if trick? We, if, we, if we if we follow my train of thought, I would then add that the um, the history of said species, in my opinion, makes it unethical to kill them. What what history is there? Any history or his, what history specifically makes it unethical to kill an individual? The the, the fact that they once had the, the fact that they once had the um, the ability to produce intelligent life and then lost it does not then mean that I feel it's okay to slaughter that species so yeah we can add we can add the historical trait on top of it and then we can move yeah into yeah more yeah okay traits, great traits, great traits, great traits. great great that great to do? yeah yeah so now let's say no yeah, let's say let's say that you found out let's say you thought yeah let's say that let's say let's say you see this sentient being that you thought was its previous history you thought its previous history was that it lost uh, its its relatives. 
and now is not part of an uh, intelligent species. But now you found out that you were mistaken, that historically it wasn't part of a, it, it wasn't uh, part of a species that at one point had intelligence. <laughs> Now, okay, so, now, so, yeah. now, if that was the case, well, can you answer the question? If that was the case, is, <laughs> it is, is it now, if that trait wasn't there, is it now okay to slaughter them? Okay, so, okay, so let, let, me, let me just clarify just so I, 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 I make sure my simple little mind understands. So I once believed that this species had the ability to produce intelligent beings on the same level as me. I then found out that they actually couldn't ever well no 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 we're not talking about well actually we can go with that too fine so then you find out they, they're they're, they're I, not I, actually i thought that's what you said i thought that's no what no, no. We, we're talking about they were look we're t remember we said because you said history so well i actually can make it really simple like let's say we let's say that history wasn't part of it so the issue with that is it's a reductio because what you're saying is that what gives an individual value the only difference in one case and not the other is the his the, is the past history of something related, not even, um, not even intrinsic to the individual itself, but the surroundings of the individual, such as the history of the other species of the individual and the, what their intelligence would be. So the problem, I mean, the issue with that is it's called what we call a shell morality position. It's essentially saying a mentally handicapped individual has value not intrinsically. They don't intrinsically have any value. They have value as a result of their shell. That it's it's the surroundings. No, no, no. They're not. It's not a human. Shell. No, it's not. It wouldn't be a difference. The difference here wouldn't be a human shell because we're talking about a non-human species, and the only difference is the history. It's it's a that's a shell morality position which has nothing to do with a human shell. Well, I, thought, I thought I thought you were talking about a human mentally handicapped. Person. No, no, no. We're talking about what the different. No, no, no. We're talking about the difference between the two trait stack, the trait stack of two that you gave me before, and the three trait stack now. The only difference between trait stacks of the two that you gave me and the third you gave me is that is the history of the other individuals being there prior to its existence or not. And that I take to be a shell morality position. So you can maintain a position like that, and you can say that you know. Sorry, Avi, clarify for us, what's what's the current stack that he's doing? The current stack is, um, number one, uh, it has to be uh, human or on the same level of human, and being on the same level of human would mean that it is either, it is either um, part of a species where individuals are roughly as intelligent as humans, or that historically, at one point in time, it was part of a species where the species were roughly, at least some members of the species were roughly at the same level of intelligence as humans. So it's a, right. so I would say uh, Sean yeah. Morales. So, so you, right. So we're, we're visualizing the same reductio here, presumably, which is just if we had, you know, humans there uh, had never been smart members of the species, uh, it would be ethical to just Holocaust infinite amounts of these uh, disabled people. No, that's not what I said. Um, I'm talking to Avi. You don't. You don't track. You don't follow things like this, Avi. Uh, well, right, well, not humans. Not not humans, Isaac. Because you oh, said. Oh yeah. Because you. Okay. Right. Of course. So we say that we slightly. We have the disabled people. We have an infinite amount of them. There haven't been smart people. There aren't currently smart people, and they're just slightly genetically altered. They still look the same and have the same subjectivity. Their genes are just a little different. Ethical to Holocaust an infinite amount of them. Yeah. So long as their genes right. are altered such that they're not human. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so that would just be a reductio. What, what a humiliatingly so stupid position to take. That's so where your argument leads, yeah, correct. Argument. No, it doesn't. But okay. Well, no, it does. Okay, cool, it does. Well, where do you want to go from here? Yeah, it's I'll, just... I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm very bored by the... Yeah, yeah, so. well, well, look, I mean, it, well, it's tangential whether you're bored or not. The, the issue, I don't see an issue with the argument. If the argument can either sift you in a position where you're in a logical contradiction, which it has, and you had to do quite a lot of work to escape it, or it can sift you in a position where it's as hilarious as a position you, like this. Do, do, you, do yeah. you agree that there would be work that I could do to maintain my position? I mean, you can maintain any position. I don't think you need work. You can maintain a hilarious position like that. It's just I think either any of those okay, positions what, are going to be what, okay, so let me either in logical contradiction or... Explain, or explain, to me what's, explain to me what's hilarious about the, the position that I'm currently holding. So yeah, so if it's, 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 it's a hilarious. shell morality, yeah, it's hilarious. No, no, it's because no, no, it's me, a shell. Let me just restate my position so I can get your direct um, 
your direct uh, arguments against it. So my, my, um, my position is that if there was a species that I knew had once had the ability to produce intelligent life, but no longer can, and now I do not feel it's necessary, I do not feel it's morally ethical to slaughter that species. That, that, that's my position. So what are you saying is hilarious? Okay, that so what, that's the okay. case. So I asked, no, but I, you presented that as a symmetry breaker. So the problem with presenting that as a symmetry breaker is that if that were not the case, you would be okay with slaughtering them. So if those traits weren't there, so, okay, you so, would be okay with slaughtering them. Okay, correct? So, yeah, so, so if, so let, let me just, let me just clarify so, I, so I'm not sure I understand. So if I then learned or if I, if, if I then, if I then um, discovered that that species never had the, uh, the ability to produce intelligent life, would I then be okay with slaughtering it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and this, and this species is entirely separate from human beings. It's a different species. It's not. A, it's it's a different species than human. It, we can. We. It's just enough traits are altered from a human being to this species such that it's not a human. Okay. So. So what 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 are you saying that this that this species as it stands now essentially acts, looks and behaves like a, men, a mentally handicapped human being, but it isn't one. Yeah, whatever criteria you have for human, we change just as much of the traits such that it's not a human by your definition. Okay, so if it's not a human, if it isn't mm -hmm. a human, okay, and so, so okay, say if it, it isn't a human and had the same level of it as in, of intelligence as a pig, had never did never had hadn't ever had the ability to produce intelligent forms of life, would I be okay with slaughtering mm -hmm. them? mass slaughtering them for food? Yeah. Okay. Well, if I, if if I were to take the the um the, the carnivore's perspective, then yes, I would be. I didn't mean? ask if no. I didn't ask it for an implication as an answer. It's a yes or no oh, question. That, that was a glorious position, this fucking perspective switch there. That was that was amazing. From the alien's you perspective, like from me? someone <laughs> else's perspective, from I'm a hypothetical me's yeah, perspective. Well, I'm, I'm He's listening. asking you. <laughs> He's not asking some <laughs> other person. He's <laughs> obviously <laughs> asking you, you from... moron. Yeah, so, so I'm saying, in, in your in your opinion, you will see me as a carnivore right now. So if I'm if I'm to take that perspective, can you just answer the question? Then, well, well, if 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 that was the criteria that that species had never ha was on the same is level it as New York, league, then yes. Okay, so is that you answering yes, or is that you taking some other standpoint that if this happened, well, we would well, again, answer yes? Like, again, again, the the um, I don't, I don't know what adjective you use, but the uh, I see it as a kind of word. Yes or no? That, yes. Can, well, he well. said conditional, okay. as in a statement that starts with if. He doesn't want an if statement. He doesn't want if I were this kind of person. He's asking you, what is your position? Don't give a conditional person. answer. Right? Okay, I then just don't make. Person. Okay, okay, cool. Exactly. Then just don't make the answer conditional, and you won't confuse him. Okay? Just because people who understand basic logic will sorry, get confused sorry, by saying something. Yeah, right. That's okay. A learning logic. Okay, yeah. so is it is yes or no? Yes. Okay, so the reduct yes, yeah, so the reductio on that is that if you if you have a human that's just so different, like genetically, you know, we do a, ge a gene bad. scan I, and we determine. Yeah, yeah. If we thought it was, if we have an individual that we think it's a human, but we just do some gene, gene scan or whatever, and it turns out the genes are just so that we can say whatever criteria we said, it's not a human, it, 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 and so that it essentially looks exactly, and that they human, don't, in the, and that it, it, it. I don't, I don't know what your criteria for human is, but whatever it is, if we do a, a scan such that we determine that. It has just the amount of traits that it would not be a human, and we were and we were mistaken in calling it a human. And those other traits are not in, in there either, such as it doesn't it doesn't have the ability to procreate for intelligent offspring, and it's mentally handicapped. Then you would be okay slaughtering it for food. I take that to be a shell morality position and a reductio on your view. So, I, okay, just just so, just just to be clear, this species that you're proposing looks exactly like humans. It just, uh, it, it could look exactly like, yeah, it, we can go with that, but it, but it, it's different enough that it, it doesn't fit the criteria. Yeah, sure. We can say that. Okay. Well then, well, okay. Well, in, in, in that case, if, if you were to take, say, if you were to take an animal, I'll just, I'll just make, I'll just use an example, a hypothetical. If you were to take a cow and then for instance, if you have the technology to 3d print that cow into a human body, 
I would I would be uncomfortable with eating it. So if I okay, so that's a that's a contradiction. And now you're adding another trade in. No, but you're adding another trade in now. Which which is fine. You said you said you said I'm I'm allowed. I'm I'm able. You you can, but you have to, but you have to recognize it. You can't just ramble. No, right. Like, let's again, let's just try to clarify for him so he understands why why you're doing this. Right. Every Isn't time, every time, content? every time that you modify, what's happening is you give a trait stack, you reach a contradiction, and then you try to add traits. All he's doing is just wanting you to acknowledge each time you contradict yourself before moving to a new trait stack. So it's clear to everyone that the contradictions are adding up. Clear to everyone, including you yourself. To you positively, Amor, because I want you to stop being a dick. Is that is that is that is that possible? Are you able to do that? Are you able to speak to me on a respectful level, or do you just keep wanting to being an arm? Oh, I, I, I just I just very arm. calmly explain something to you. I can do it again, right? So what he's doing is he's asking you for a trait stack. You give a trait stack, and then if it leads to a contradiction, what he's doing is just getting you to acknowledge that it's a contradiction before giving a new stack, just so it's clear to everyone in the room, including you, that you keep contradicting yourself. That's all he's doing, and it's completely fair. And you can do it to him if he contradicts himself. Okay, so my so if, if I was if I were to add the trait that it also looks identical to a human, I would be uncomfortable with it with, with eating it. But I, I I added I added that trait on top, so I'm. So now so we have four traits. Yeah. That's also a shum morality position, by the way. So let's say someone does plastic surgery on the being, and now they look more like a cow than. <laughs> this is fucking ludicrous. It's now is it okay to slaughter them? Is it okay it's to slaughter them now? Pointless. So now we have all those strangers, and someone does plastic surgery on the being, and they don't look like a human anymore. They look like a cow. Can you answer the question? Is it now wrong to slaughter them? <laughs> yes or no? I, uh, it's astounding to me that you people don't understand how fucking idiotic and absurd you sound. But, yeah, so, yeah. It's astounding to me that you don't seem to be able to answer the question. Well, I, 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 could, I could answer the question if you want. Or... Okay, is it now? is it now okay to slaughter them? So if we were to take, <laughs> is it I, now I love, okay? I love uh, Avi. Do you like how he's trying for the humor derail? He's trying to ridicule the hypothetical so, instead. So <laughs> it, it's very cringy, right? Because the bottom line is he's biting the bullet on holocausting infinite beings that are subjectively identical to the disabled people that we have on this planet. Infinite beings, yeah. Oh god, you're such a fucking idiot. I don't. I gen, I the idiot who understands where the position goes. Sorry, continue, Abby. I don't Abby. see a point in this. It's 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 a shit. I don't know. You you're um. I'm I'm all for you fighting for the vegan cause, but what you're doing is a shit form of activism. If you want to, trying to ramble things, away from the argument like again. Eh? People. Oh, I don't give man. Fuck, Isaac. I don't care. To me, you are a condescending. Do you want to just bring him back to the argument freak? so he stops like rambling? I I'm I'm still waiting for the answer to the question. Okay, but again, again, if 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 you were if you were to propose this to any normal person, they would laugh. At I'm you, still right? not hearing a qu an answer to the question. Okay, just 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 so I'm just so I'm clear on your position, okay? I don't. I'm not offering a position. I'm offering you a question. Okay, okay. And if, I'm not appreciating okay, an answer. Okay, okay, so if if I if I'm clear on the question, the question mm -hmm. now is just 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 so I know, the question. Sorry, the question now is. If we were to take a species, right, that uh, that I, I was to discover had no, ha, never had the ability to create human level uh, uh, beings of human level intelligence, but then looks like a human, we then do plastic surgery on that being to make it look not like a human. Would I be okay with eating it? Mm -hmm. is, that your, is that your? Yeah, question? slaughtering it for meat. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, guys, I'm I'm sorry, but I think I'm done. This is fucking. That's ridiculous. not an answer. Okay, so you haven't answered the question. Okay. I, I don't. I, I, I don't care. I I, I Okay. Well, listen then. The then course, but, um, I, if I, I if you can't if you can't provide an answer to the question, you can't you can't. I mean, look, you're just having a view where you can't provide an answer to the hypothetical. Um, you can't engage with it. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you 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 can, you can keep arguing hypotheticals to the day you die. It's not going to make a difference. I'm sorry, but your form of activism is is poor. If you want, if you want to, if you want to pull more people onto the side of veganism, this isn't the way to do it. That's that was my entire point, and you keep you, you, you keep pulling me into these logical contradictions, and try and literally trying to box me into a corner where I have to, where where I have to agree with you. It's it's it, it, it's pointless, and it, it it literally just pushes people further away. It makes them double down on uh, on on their own position because you're literally you're, you're attacking someone. Like I'm not I'm not I'm not saying I feel personally attacked, but most people would feel personally attacked. You're you're intellectually bombarding them.
And it's, he's just, just rambling. Just Should we let him talk to, yeah. like, you're, Insup, you're, maybe? You're, you're, uh, Isaac, you're a fucking idiot. I think you're a bit of a cop. If you want, if you want we, can, we can let you talk to one of the nicer people, because he seems like he can only talk to, you know... <laughs> what was not nice about me? Uh, apparently, apparently using logic is mean. He doesn't like... He thinks you're boxing him in because you're showing where his statements lead. Stop being... Seriously, Isaac, stop being a fucking cunt. If you want people to agree with you and you want people to come onto your side, stop being a cunt. It's very simple. Avi, you've been perfectly respectable. I do not think you have been mean at all. But I don't see a point in continuing this channel. But it's, it's, I find it absurd. Um, you, 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 you're, you're, you're asking such absurd hypotheticals. I can't take it seriously. And I'm sorry that I can't do that, but I can't. I find it massively ludicrous. And I don't see a point in it. So we, we, Did you hear an answer there, or an argument? No, I, I didn't. I didn't hear an answer to the question. Did, uh, did, did you did you want to continue with the line of reasoning, or are you uh, fleeing? No, well, we're not interested in a tangential ramble. Did you want to answer Avi's question, or are you going to flee? Yeah, flee. Go go ahead, run away. Go ahead, run away. Okay. So what? So well, if you, if you don't want to run away, Avi can continue with you. Isaac, what would you propose? No, I'm, I'm not going to engage idea? your bullshit. Would, would you, you like to answer Avi? Would you like to answer Avi, or would you like to run away? <laughs> see it, see it, see it again. You're, you're, you're... Right, you're just rambling. Would you like to answer Avi, or do you want to run away? Dude, uh, do you... No, I just don't have patience for the rambling. It's a philosophy server, it's a debate server, it's a formal logic server. We don't, we don't have any interest in the rambling nonsense. Did you want to answer Avi, or were you going to flee? I did not come into this debate. Did you did you want to answer Avi there, bud, or are you just gonna flee? Oh, pal, sorry. Avi, what was it you were trying to ask him? Just use priority if he's trying to talk over you. Yeah, look, if we if someone did plastic surgery to this being, when we account for the other uh, trait differences, and they now no longer look like a human, is it okay to slaughter them for me? So, are we performing plastic surgery on all members of the species? No, just this individual. Just this individual one. Yeah. So, so, um, so, okay, so I'm presented with, is it already dead at this point before I eat it? No, I I it's it. alive. It's alive. So I'm looking at this being that, what, so it looked, it originally looked like a human. It's now had plastic surgery to now look like a pig. And you're asking me, am I, am I okay to eat it? Yeah. Um, let's just say, yeah, yeah, I would be fine with it. Okay, so that that's a shell morality position. The reductio is that what what hinges on the difference of whether it's okay or not okay to eat it is the appearance, is the physical appearance of the... Okay. Again, yeah, so I take that to be a hilarious, absurd position. It's a hilarious, absurd position. But but if, if you were to take a normal human, say if, you, say if I were to take you and do plastic surgery on you to make you look like a pig, I wouldn't be okay with eating you. I understand, but it's still true that the difference between whether it's okay or not okay in this case to slaughter this being is purely based on appearance. And if and, and, and if you were to take a deer, well, not purely, but but the difference in between those two cases is purely if you based were to on. Take appearance. a deer, for instance, and you were to do plastic surgery on said deer to make it look like a human. Would I be okay with killing that? I don't know. I'd I'd I'd, I'd have to think about it quite hard. If someone if if someone were to say to me kill this animal it's it's an animal it might look like a human but it's not an animal well look i mean listen I if you're willing to bite the bullet Andrew. if you're willing i mean look if you're willing to bite the bullet on um appearance being a just a, a valid justification or a valid uh, difference it, that would it, make the difference not, between you between slaughtering and not, not slaughtering a being it isn't just it isn't just a appearance you know well i didn't say i didn't i didn't say it was no i didn't say it was i said it was just appearance between these two different hypotheticals where the other traits you mentioned were account it's a, it's a, yeah okay. so then in between those two cases it is just a as well as several other traits but i already baked that into the cake no 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 i already baked those other traits into the cake i already but, 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 i already but, but, but we, we, i set just, the hypotheticals up running, different such that traits onto the stack, yep, you said, that's so that's fine that, that well that that's fine right now i have right now you're in an absurd position if you want to try to add more traits to get to not absurd you're free the the the, the, pro the propos what you're proposing is absurd it, it's absurd all the way you look at it what's what's absurd that i've proposed oh, ta taking taking a species of animal and taking a species of animal that say say you take a monkey a monkey looks enough like a human you take a monkey and you do plastic surgery on the monkey to make it look like a pig am i okay with eating it it's a, what, what the fuck is that question? <laughs> it's it the cool. question it's that shows that your position leads to affirming the morality of an infinite holocaust of disabled minds.
that's your view. But what? But what? What? What, what form of disabled mind? Don't don't do that. It just makes you look like an asshole. Um. So, what form of disabled mind? So, if you were to have a disabled cow, would would that would that count as disabled mind? Are we, am I okay with holocausting, as you call it? I don't. <laughs> it's such it's it, it's such hyperbolic language. But killing killing an entire species of so mentally retarded. Obvious, very like straightforward. We're just talking about the minds of the disabled people who exist right now. Their genes were slightly different, and uh, if there weren't any smart people around, right? Your view Again, is compatible that? with holocausting minds identical to all the minds of the disabled people right now. Fit those criteria. Right, it's gonna it's gonna lead to an infinite holocaust of disabled minds. That's what as your long as 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 long as long as we as long as we did plastic surgery on them such that they didn't look made, like humans anymore. I made I made I made the assertion that the species. That right, but 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 Avi Avi, when I say infinite <laughs> holocaust of disabled minds, the point is oh, yeah, that's that the true, minds yeah. are identical. Oh, no, no, I made, I of made, course. I made, this, I, I made the uh, I made the proviso that the the species that we're referring to is that is of the intelligence of that of a pig. That. Can you can you point to me a disabled person that is of the same level of intelligence as a pig? Oh, I'm sure there are plenty of people that uh, that uh, exist as a human that have the intelligence level as that of a pig or lower. Like there's even the chat right now. There's uh, Bree would be an example. <laughs> What's funny about that? Was that did, did you just refer to someone in the chat as on the, the level? No, of no. Yeah, I said it's in the chat. There's a video in the that, chat. That's of, the that's oh, the right. first actually funny thing he said in this entire time. Oh, okay. So I thought I thought I thought that's what you said, which would which I thought was quite funny that you referred to someone like that. But no, I apologize. <laughs> no, no. So the, yeah, there's mentally handicapped people who are probably less intelligent than pigs. I would I would yeah, again, if I had to go. They're they're still human. Okay, look. Um, if we could just move on slightly, like the 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 point that I made to vegan, I'm, I'm going to try and be respectful now. I won't. I'll try not to swear or get or get frustrated anymore because it's entirely pointless. It leads to nothing. Now, the 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 point I made. We can keep going down this logical train, but the point I made to to vegan gains um, was that I um, I see I I hold humans in higher regard than an animal. So, for instance, if you were to take a human being, we've been through this though. No, no, just just please, please let me make the point. If you were to take a human being, put it in front of me, and then shoot it in the head, that would cause me a great level of distress. If you were to do the same to an animal, maybe even a dog, it would cause distress, but a lower level of distress. Therefore, I have more compassion and empathy, and I hold humans in higher regard than animals. That's the point that I take. So you using the but what if human, what if animal, does not hold any water in my mind because I've already made the distinction that I hold a human being, be they mentally handicapped or not, in higher esteem than an animal. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to agree with any of these lines of thought. Do you understand what? Do you understand where I'm coming from? That's why it's not going to work. Well, no, it's it's fine. Look, I'm not again. Again, my goal here isn't necessarily to convince you. It's to find out where your values are coming from, and it's to find out what the difference on your view and, is. And, and, and it like, turns out, if it turns, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. I, I let you talk. Um, so sorry, I apologize. Carry on. Look, look. So what it seems to me here is that it seems to me that you're you have a view which is okay, holocausting an infinite number of minds, such that as long as the right conditions are in place. And, and yeah, you're okay. Number of animal minds. Yeah, an infinite number of non-human minds, mm -hmm. um, such that certain conditions are in place. It's a shell morality position. Um, so long as we do plastic surgery on the human-looking ones that uh, make them look non-human, so long as we, uh, so long as they don't have this no. history trait. That, I mean, no, this is what you've said. Like, we could, I'm just working with all of the traits. No, no, that's no, yeah, no, no, that 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 is what I said. But I said I said that whilst following this uh, this. You're, uh, you're trying you're trying to block right but that's but right but that's Does but that that's your position you yeah yeah but that's oh yeah but that is okay well you can call it a logical game no, but no, that is I, what I, you've I, said I don't, I don't mean to call it a logical game as a term of disrespect i just mean it technically is a logical game i mean whatever no i don't i don't i don't think so but like regardless you this is what you've affirmed you sort of like so long as we take these beings that are sentient and we do plastic surgery on them to make them look like humans and they did not have the history of being part of the species that was intelligent or at least a, uh, to the same degree of humans were intelligent, and they did not have an uh, intelligent being have empathy for them, then it would be okay to infinitely holocaust them. That's your view. 
So that's just a reductio in my view. That's a shell morality position, and it's a view that leads to an infinite holocaust of infinite minds. Isn't that what's already occurring technically in your in your in your opinion? Yeah, it is. It's just, but it's, but the, but it's to appreciate that the difference here is just, some, it's not something a value of intrinsic to the individual itself. It's a shell morality position. No, see, see, the thing is, I agree. I, I entirely agree with you. Um, I just, just um, for full transparency, like I, li I live in a family of vegans. Um, that the, um, I, I do not at all agree with the wholesale slaughter of um, uh, pigs uh, and any form of livestock chickens i do think it's morally objectionable and I, I don't think it should be done i'm entirely in agreement with you on that i just don't see the problem with name i i just don't see what the issue with but again, um, again my, 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 point, my point with name the trait is okay so even okay so if if we if we were to, if i were to concede that name the trait works as a as a logical as, as a logical thought experiment to to put to to push to push someone into uh, agreeing that killing animals is wrong. Then yes, that's if I were to I were to concede that, right? Wait, if you were, I just want to be like, what 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 do you con would concede oh, on? Okay, if okay, name okay, the trait. Okay, so, sorry, I'll, I'll I'll use less of a boast language. Um, if if I were to concede that name the trait isn't a poor form of argumentation, so if 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 I were to concede that, right? I, I still do not think it's an effective form of argumentation when used against a non-vegan in, in, in respects of trying to convert them to your cause. Okay, so the first thing is that, yeah, so the first issue with that is that that's just tangential to what we're trying to do. No, no, we're no trying again, again, no, again I've, I've got, okay, so, so, as I say, I've, I, I, I've said, say if I were, so, so, say, say, say now I'm conceding that the name the trait debate, as you call it, works. Right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's as simple as I can put it, right? My entire point was that, to, to begin with, I, I stated my, uh, my point, was that it's a poor form of argumentation to use against a non-vegan to pull them towards your cause. That was the point that I started at. And okay, so let's, went, so, so that's, what's the argument? So then either we, so that's like, to me, that's an empirical question. Like if you compare like argument for marginal cases, what rate, what's the percentage of a conversion rate for yeah, that yeah. versus name the trade? It's an empirical question. Um, I don't have the data. I suspect you. Don't um, no, 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 I don't. But I'm, I'm, because again, I've, I've run through this experiment with a few vegans who, who, um, who, who agree with you that name the trade does work. And, um, yeah, that, that, including that, me, that, by the way. By the way, I just want to just. I'm glad you've asked because, by the way, like including myself, like I was veganized through name the trade. Yeah. So and and that and they were, uh, no, that that I, I would I would consider that they were not as um, educated on the topics of logic and philosophy as you were, and I was I was I, I was able to uh, to win that debate. Now you, with your level of education, was were, were were able to trap me into logical contradictions, which is fine. I'm not I'm not disagreeing that you were able to do that. I mean Isaac can make all the condescending statements that he wants, but. Either way, I never disagreed with that. I no, no, I appreciate. I appreciate when you acknowledge it. That's legit. I'm not gonna make fun of that. If someone says I contradict myself and I own it. That's respectable. Okay, so for, for, I, get, I, 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 I appreciate that. Isaac. So what, what, what I'm saying is now. See, for me, because I, I live, I live in a vegan family. My and my sister, she's very, she's a very staunch vegan. Although she's not, I wouldn't say. People describe militant vegans. She's not what I would describe as a militant vegan. She doesn't try and push those views, but she's she's very caring and she's very compassionate towards animals. We've had a lot of conversations and debates regarding the advocacy and the activism of veganism and what is the best way to push that forward. Now, in my opinion, in my view, being as respectful as I possibly can, I do not feel that name the trait works. And that's that's just from my own personal experience. If you guys have uh, contradictory uh, evidence to, to to disprove that, then I'm more than willing to accept it. And this was the point that I was I would have moved on to with vegan games, but we got stuck on a point, and I got frustrated and started to try and get a rise out of him, which again, um, I, sh I shouldn't have done. But it, you know, I'm a human after all. That's what people. Well, I think do. neither of us have have data for the question that's being asked here. But if you just want anecdotal evidence, and and looking, you're looking at the anecdotes around you. I'm looking at anecdotes around me. Um, I can tell you that I myself have gone from non-vegan to vegan as a result of Name the Trait, and I also have converted several people from non-vegan to vegan as a result of Name the Trait. So well, again, we do I mean, have different um, experiences. 
No, no, I, I appreciate yeah. that. I mean, I, I hope you, I hope you also appreciate that anecdotal evidence doesn't really prove. Well, that. you don't. Yeah, but you, but then, but then you can't make your assertion not, either. Then, no, unless no, you have. No, that, you know, I, I agree with you. I, I can't then. I, I can't then state that my my reality denies your reality. I totally understand that. But again, I, yeah. So then you can't make the statement. But then you can't re really make the statement any reliably that name the trade doesn't work, to to uh, for as a form of advocacy. Well, okay, okay. Say 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 if I were to even concede that point, which I, which I I don't. But say if I were to concede that point, do you feel as vegans who I assume want to pull more vegans to your cause? That there would be simpler and more, you know, say less less esoteric ways of explaining something or debating with someone in order to pull them, in in order to pull them into the the vegan diet. Yeah, my intuition tells like the answer is I don't know. My intuition tells me that different things work. Likely, what's going to end up coming down to is that there are different arguments that work for different types of people. I think for certain types of people, some wait. Let me finish. I think certain oh, okay, types of people. Right. I think there's certain types of people that certain types of arguments will be uh, work for, and I think there are other types of people where I think name the trade actually would be a, it's had its own rightful niche to work for. So for a person like me, I can tell you, I don't think there would have been anything that would have convinced me other than name the trade. So I think it's most like if I had to speculate, which is all we're doing right now, I would speculate that there are probably different niches, and each of these arguments have their own rightful place in the arsenal. Okay. So, um, I got a perfectly respectable answer. Um, again, so in 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 my in my opinion, so okay, again, I, I accept that answer. So, in in my opinion, um, I think that there are ways that we could introduce the vegan diet subtly into um, larger society that would help to to pull more more people into the diet. I did try to explain this to well, not explain, but I did try to go down this road with Richard, but he was again, we got stuck on one point, and again. Richard, so you know, I know I called you a cunt, and we got into, and we got into a fracas. But that was just because I was frustrated, frustrated, and trying to get a rise out of you. So I used, um, so so yeah, I was just being a dick. But I think we were both being a dick. But anyway, regardless, um, I what the the point that I made was: do 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 you think? Because you're you're all vegans. I'm talking to a room of vegans right now, and I, I appreciate this isn't a philosophical debate that I'm currently having with you. But That's not you true. Think? You're not in a room of vegans. Just to be clear. Okay, so okay, well I'm I'm speaking to. To you, or you, Isaac, and you, Abby, you're both vegans, so I'm, I'm having a debate with the two of you. So, um, if if I if if, if I'm I not really say, debating, I just made a point or two. Okay, fair enough. Regardless, look, I'm speaking to I'm speaking to the both of you. I'm addressing the two of you right now. You're both vegans. So, do do you think, for instance, it would be a good idea to say um, in in public schools, if we if we were to maybe pull a bill in, uh, you know, um, pull a bill into place um, or get it written into law? If this, if this, if this could happen, to say, um, one week, one week out of the, uh, one day, of, one day of the week, the, the 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 cafeteria only sells vegan food. I personally think that that um, introducing children to to the vegan diet at an early age through um, through through the school cafeteria could be a good way of of um, of pulling them into veganism as a whole. Do you think that's a good idea, or do you think that could work? I mean, it could work in in terms of converting them to veganism or what i'm yeah, sorry see, i'm not see, not kind of see that, well okay so I'll, I'll i'll come back to that point if you don't mind if we carry on this discussion i, I just want to be clear on what, you, what it is that you're asking so if, if if we were to introduce one day of the week in in say in western society we'll say we'll use also oh, sorry i have to be fair to avi avi's texting me this throat hurts he debated four hours before this are you wanting out yeah if you do, yeah let's let yeah like if or like, or like someone yeah. talk yeah, I'll just close on this. Like, I'll, like there are different arguments that work for different people, and it's not a dichotomy. It's not like you only have to like. There's name the trait, and then there's nothing. Uh, and my reasons for being vegan are just name the are just uh, ethics, and they're not based on other things. But I do at the same time, even though I do provide information on health to vegans, I do provide, uh, I do have health debates as well. I do I talk about a lot of things. I don't limit myself to the scope of veganism of just name the trade. It's not an all or nothing thing. It's not a dichotomy. I just think every one of these things probably has their place. And for some people, it would work more than others. And that's my speculation. Neither of us have data. And I just don't see a problem with what's being done. So, okay. yeah. Avi, do you mind if I just respond to that? Is that okay before you leave? Yeah, sure.
No, the, the only thing I wanted to say was that obviously we're having, we, we were having a discussion as to whether name the trait is, w works as a, as a logical form of argumentation. Now, in my opinion, you have proven to me that it does, so therefore you won the debate. I'm perfectly willing to concede that, so you know, I grant you that. All right, cool. I appreciate that. All right. Well, take care, guys. Have a good one.